Got this milk frother because I love cappuccinos and just craft milk in general. Kind of says it's perfect for lattes, cappuccinos, hot chocolate, keto coffee. Um, yeah, so we're gonna open it up just to see if we can get a better froth milk than we have an espresso maker that kind of has it on there, but it doesn't always froth well. Um, so pull it out here and and it just has like their thank you card and so that's really cool it comes with um like stencils if that's the right way to call it um so you can do like cinnamon on top and get different shapes so it's got like moons a smiley face coffee beans hearts big heart um, a bow, a steamed cup of coffee, a moon and stars, a sun, kind of a flower, a Christmas tree, a maple leaf maybe, um, love, it's just like a little ghost guy or something, I don't know, but an I love you, and then another little heart so that's really cool i feel like this would be really great if you were just kind of opening up a shop too or if you just like entertaining and think it'd be awesome to put shapes on there i didn't know it came with these so that was a really fun bonus um then i'm gonna try and get out of this cardboard here and So it comes with like a stand and then the frother here um, and then it looks like the top just pops off to put batteries in there and it looks like it's two double A's. Um, let's see if it says on here. Yeah, so you can dip it in hot water or run underwater, but um, don't submerge the top because there's batteries in there. Um, froth at 45 to 90 degree angles, and it can do 15 to 45 seconds depending on the temperature and type of milk. Okay, so, and like I said, the little stand here. So I'm going to go find batteries and then we're gonna try this I got out. my two AA batteries in there. I'm just going to use a measuring cup so we can kind of see the frothing progress. Um, and then I am using almond milk because that's what we have right now. Um, so 90 degree would be this way, or I guess 45. I can't really do in this cup that well, to kind of turn it, but um, it seems like it really spins it fast, so that's good. Um, and maybe it would work better with hot milk too, but you can kind of see it's already starting to produce some froth. I don't know if you can see it. But, and then this one says it takes 15 to 45 seconds, depending on the t temperature and type of milk. Um, so regular milk might froth easier, um, but it seems like it's going pretty well. And then, um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it at all, so I'll take you over so we can look at kind of what it looks like from the top. So you see it obviously frothed it and it's very easy to use. So I like it, seems really affordable for what you get.